there guys let me welcome you to fabulous las vegas nevada and we're going to be reviewing some beer out here when i'm on this little pleasure trip uh it's phenomenal the view is phenomenal i'm at caesar's palace uh, i got a chopper ride booked at eight o'clock and then a night on the town um anyways what we have here is we have fat tire amber ale from new belgium brewing company they're in Fort Collins, Colorado. Now, I've never seen this in Pennsylvania. I can't be 100% sure whether we get it or not out there. But uh, let me come in, take your eyes off that gorgeous view for a second with that. So that's what we have. I have a glass here, a little Caesar's glass. Or get a little, there we go, get a little top off. And uh, really, I don't really know a lot about this. There's no ABV listed on here or anything, and I have no beer advocate. It says here, Fat Tire Amber Ale's appeal is in a feat of balance. Toasty, biscuit-like malt flavors, coasting in equilibrium with hoppy freshness. Named in honor of Jeff's mountain bike trip from brewery to brewery through Europe. Fat Tire is still crafted upon the original homebrew recipe that Jeff brainstormed on the cycling trip. Serve at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, there's the ABV, 5.2. So, here we go. I'm going to try to... I'm gonna try to get tomorrow. This I'm gonna have to get a bottle cap or a bottle opener, I guess. All right, fat tire, amber ale. Wow, you can hear. I can actually hear the fountains through the window from the Bellagio. I'm gonna have to check that out up close and personal sometime on this trip. Came out here for five nights by my lonesome, just to uh, experience Vegas the way it was meant to be experienced. So, have a smell. Nice hop flavors there. Uh, real, real nice aroma. A little bit of maltiness, but mostly I'm getting hops to have a taste. Mm. It's pretty good. Now, I'm not blown away by it or anything. But, uh, uh I'm going to say light bodied. Um, it's very sessionable, it's drinkable. Um, there definitely is a biscuit-like maltiness to it and hoppiness. It is a nice balance of both flavors. But nothing really jumps out and grabs me, you know? Now, as far as craft beer goes in Vegas, I found a, a Sin City Brewing today I went to, but they didn't bottle anything. So I'm gonna try to do four reviews. Can't guarantee they're all gonna be extraordinary beers. That is extraordinary. Oh, that old pig. Look at that. It's amazing. Anyways. You know? It's drinkable. It's a lot better than something like Miller or Coors or Bud. But again, there's just nothing there that blows me away completely. Um, I'm probably going to have to go ahead. I do have to kind of make these short because I got a lot of things I got to do out here. But is a letter grade, you know, probably B minus, C plus. He said nothing fantastic, but uh, again, we're dealing with the fat tire from New Belgium. Ugh. And they stopped. So they go off on and on. It's a little show, but Caesars is great, Vegas is great. Next beer review from here, I'm going to try to not ramble as much about Vegas. But the beer, like I said, uh -oh. B minus, C plus, right in that area. Nothing outstanding. But a good beer and a drinkable beer. So let me know if you guys have had it. Uh, if you're liking what you're watching, why not subscribe? It's only a click away. And uh, I'm doing beer reviews like this. Try to update about twice a week. So, from Las Vegas, cheers.
made a video. See the fire. Quick update. First hand in blackjack. Blackjack. Uh, it's great. Fucking, I'm either gonna pick me up eventually though, because I'm fucking getting tanked, man. Uh, this is just fabulous. Fabulous, Las Vegas. This is outside at uh, Aria. It's uh, like the newest thing. And they have a bunch of buildings, but Aria is the casino part of it. And this is Aria. This is outside. This is like kind of like two doors down from Caesars. Um, I guess some of city center's not done yet, but this was like a $15 billion project. Bubbly, bubbly, boo. Uh.